All right, let's practice subtraction input and output tables. Okay, so we have a table here, and our rule is to subtract three, okay? And the way to check and make sure we're doing it correctly is let's do the one that is completed for us. We have 10 minus three, that does equal seven. So every time I need to follow the rule and subtract three. Okay, so six minus three equals three, eight minus three equals five, and nine minus three equals six. So we have three, five, six, seven. All right, next one. This time we're still subtracting three, and we'll use this one as our tester. 5 minus 3 equals 2. So each time we are subtracting 3. So 6 minus 3 equals 3. 7 minus 3 equals 4. And 9 minus 3 equals 6. Next one, this time we're subtracting one. We're taking away one. So is three minus one, two? Yes. What is five minus one? Four. What's eight minus one? Seven. And what's 10 minus one? Nine. So two, four, seven, nine. Next one, this time we are subtracting three and we check using our example, five minus three does equal two. So we do seven minus three, nine minus three and 10 minus three. What is seven minus three? Four. What's nine minus three? Six. And what's 10 minus three? Seven. All right, next one. This time we are subtracting two. And we check right here, six minus two does equal four. So every time we are subtracting two. Three minus two equals one, nine minus two equals what? Seven, 10 minus two equals eight. Good job. Let's do another one. This time we are subtracting three and I like to circle what my rule is so it sticks out. So again, every time we are subtracting three, let me redo this one. So we're subtracting three every time. And we'll do the bottom one as our check. Is nine minus three, six? Yes, it is. Three minus three equals zero. Six minus three equals three. And eight minus three equals five. Next one. This time we're subtracting three again. Okay. Subtracting three every time. And our bottom one is our check. Is nine minus three, six? Yes. Okay. So five minus three equals what? two. Seven minus three equals four, and eight minus three equals five. What you want to do is look for patterns. So you can see on our input side we have five, seven, eight, nine, okay? And you can look for patterns on the output side. This is the nice thing about these input and output tables. 
Okay, next one, subtracting 3 again. Okay, so we're going to put minus 3 every time. And we are going to check 8 minus 3. Is 8 minus 3 5? Yes, so we can continue on and answer the rest. So 5 minus 3 equals 2. What is 7 minus 3? 4. And skip down, 9 minus 3 equals 6. Good job. Next one. Again, we are subtracting 3. So I'm going to write it in. And let's check with our last one because it's already done. 10 minus 3 does equal 7. So 6 minus 3 equals what? 7 minus 3 is 4. 9 minus 3 equals 6. So we have 3, 4, 6, and 7. And let's do one more. This time we're subtracting 1. So we subtract 1. And if you have an input-output table in front of you at any point, there's nothing that says you can't write on the table as a visual to help you answer the question. So 8 minus 1 does equal 7. So we know we're good to go. So 4 minus 1 equals 3. 6 minus 1 equals 5. And 7 minus 1 equals 6, 3, 5, 6, and 7. Great job with these subtraction input and output tables.